this is something that no matter how many times I talk about it, I still have people in the YouTube comments or here on Twitch or on Instagram always asking me this question. And part of it is because I wear these headphones on every stream. I'm not endorsed by them, unfortunately, but I just really happen to like these headphones. People ask, what headphones do I use? I use Focal Elear headphones. Now, the reason I use these headphones is because Sonarworks gave them a really high review, and I happened to be looking for new headphones, and I wanted something that translated well with Sonarworks software. So I saw these headphones, they were like 400 something dollars. And so I bought them, and then I bought another pair, and by the time I bought the second pair, they went up to like 600 something. Now, from what I hear, they're like $1,000 or more. So when people ask if they should buy these, my opinion, if they're $1,000, it's not worth it. Don't buy these for 1,000. I bought them because it was a deal at like, you know, four or five, 600 bucks. But at 1,000, I think they're overpriced. People a lot of times ask me, what headphones should I buy? So I wanted to just kind of put together different headphones that I've tried and let you guys know what I think. In the under $200 range, one pair of headphones that I owned back in the day for like a, a really long time, I think I paid $99 for them, is the Sennheiser HD 280 Pros. For 100 bucks, it definitely was good for me for the time I was using them. I've outgrown them and I could never mix on them now. But for 100 bucks, if you want something to either record vocals, tracking, the HD 280 Pros are decent. For under 200 bucks, one pair that I can actually recommend is the Bayer Dynamic DT 770s. Sonarworks recommends them too. I trust Sonarworks and because I've heard a lot of good things, I recommend the DT 770s for under 200. For under 600, you can get into some good open back headphones, the HD 600 and 650s by Sennheiser. I've heard a lot of good things about those. Sonarworks also gives them a really high review. The Sennheiser HD 600 and 650s are good. As far as higher end headphones, these are really good. I recommend them. If you can get them for like six, maybe 650, I think they're good. They're open back headphones. They're called the Focal Elear and they pair really well with Sonarworks. Also, if you wanna go high end, the Focal Clear Pros are ones that I really like. Similar to these, maybe marginally better, but you're getting to like the $1,500 range. If you wanna go high end, the Focal Clear Pros are something I can recommend. Now, a lot of people also ask, okay, should I get an open back pair of headphones or should I get a closed back pair of headphones? Basically, if you work in a place that's noisy, you want closed back headphones because closed back headphones are gonna isolate the room. They're gonna isolate all the sounds going on around you. Open back headphones like these, I can hear everything going on around me. I could be bumping music and if someone's talking to me in the room, I can hear right through the music. Open back headphones have a more open sound. Closed back headphones have a better bass response a lot of times, but other than bass response, open back headphones pretty much win out all the time. Generally, open back headphones are gonna sound more natural, more open. Closed back headphones won't be as natural, but it's gonna have a better bass response. So that's kind of a difference between open and closed back headphones. Another pair of headphones I owned, I think they were $300, which I absolutely loved, but there was one flaw with them where I can never recommend them. They're called Focal Spirit Pro headphones. They were $300 headphones and they sounded great. For the money, I mixed all my old records on them, like fine tuned them and everything. They sounded really good. They were closed back headphones and I loved the sound signature of them. These are a step up from those, but those sounded good for what they were. Awesome headphones, 300 bucks, Focal Spirit Pro. The fatal problem with those headphones is that I had a pair and it lasted me about a year and I was very gentle with them, took care of them. I would travel with them sometimes, but always in a case. This part of the headphone would break. And as it would break, this would start extending out and it would start bending outwards. And then more and more time would pass, the headphone would literally fall off. And so I liked these headphones so much, I got duct tape and I wrapped them up until I reached out to the seller that hit me up and they actually sent me a new pair because of that design flaw. And I think they told me they fixed it, but I got the second pair and after another year, it broke. This part of the headphone broke. So Focal Spirit Pros are the worst designed headphones ever. Terrible. But they sounded awesome. So the second pair broke and I reached out to the manufacturers and they and since it was beyond the warranty period of the initial headphone, what they did was they gave me a discount on the Focal Listen Pros. So I got a pair of Focal Listen Pros. 
The build quality of the Listen Pros were great. They were very flexible. They were solid, but they just did not sound good. I still have them. I use them for like tracking or doing DJ sets on the live stream. They're cool. For $200 headphones, I guess they're fine. I actually like my AirPods Max better than them to my ears. The Focal Listen Pros sound very bright and sharp, but once I got these Focal Elears, I really love these. I can't really recommend any lower end Focal headphones. Those are basically my recommendations as far as headphones go. But I have a limited exposure to headphones because I pretty much stick with what I got. I got two pairs of these and I got a pair of Listen Pros and I got a couple other random pairs that I don't really use much. AirPods Max, I love my AirPods Pro and AirPods Max for listening, but I would never recommend them for production. Sonarworks has an article best studio headphones. Now, I have Sonarworks Reference 4, and it's a game changer as far as mixing in headphones. I've been recommending them for a long time because if you have a pair of headphones that are not out the box sounding flat and really good, Sonarworks Reference 4 can actually correct the sound and make them flat, basically. I've used Reference 4 for years. Lately, I have not been using it because I'm just so used to the signature of these, and I just don't want to go through the hassle of opening the software. But if I was using another pair of headphones that didn't already sound pretty flat, I would definitely recommend Sonarworks. So this is what they recommend. They talk about closed versus open back, same thing as I pretty much said. They have suggestions for both open back and closed back in different price ranges. Open back, at the lower end, they're recommending for the $75 pair Philips SHP 9500s and they give you some reasons why. And a lot of these are based off of how they sound with the Sonarworks Reference 4 calibration, which I can tell you does a really good job. Sonarworks came to my studio and they brought the microphone for me and they calibrated my whole room. And they gave me the software to calibrate the headphones a while ago. So just real good stuff. I'm not sponsored by them. They did give me their software and I just really love it. I used it for a long time. And when I use some other headphones like this, this is where it really comes in handy. Anyways, you guys can read it, but ATH M40X, 100 bucks, 770s, 175, which I recommend it also. The 990s are open back Bayer Dynamics for around the same price. You know, you get some Sennheisers here. More high end, I recommended these two, the 600 and the 650s in this range. Now, these are the pair that I own, the Focal Spirit Pros. They recommended them at 350 price point. I have to disagree with Sonarworks and not recommend these. They sound amazing, but the build quality is flawed. So don't get these. Oppo PM3s, I haven't tried these, but heard good things. Sonarworks recommends them. Bob Katz recommends them. LCD 2s, these headphones are praised. I've tried them and, you know, maybe it was just the moment I was in, but they just didn't have the punchiness that I'm used to in Focal, so I went the Focal route. Sennheiser HD 800s, I don't believe I've ever tried these, but I know people who have them, they like them, but that's in the $1,000 range. And then when you go up from there, you get into Focal Utopia territory in the $4,000 range, and you can really go up. But... I just stick with my Focal Elears. They sound great. I have two pairs of them, one for home, one for the studio. What do you guys think? What are your headphones that you use and why? And have you tried a lot of others? Why did you pick the pair that you have? Yeah.